Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? That was a good one. <laughs> Metal Complex here and today, uh, I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. I have a good idea of who sent this. I have no idea what it is, but just based on the packaging, I, th I think I've gotten familiar with who this is. Thanks so much to the uh, people who sent this. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. This knife is very likely available, so I will link it right down below so you guys can check it out. It does help my channel when you use my links, but that's entirely up to you. Hey, we got a premium one, all right. Good, because I'm gonna be honest with you, as much as I love Kubi for their budget stuff, the last few that they've sent have just been in underwhelming materials with overwhelming price tags. Um, so let's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped to take a look at a premium one. They generally get their prices pretty fair, oh, sometimes more than fair. Um, and the materials that they use are also generally very good. Yeah, alrighty, okay. We got a full titanium boy here. We got another layer of protection. Let's uh, get her open here real quick. And alrighty, we've got a titanium frame lock. Let's look this thing over here real quick. Nice bead blasted frame. Uh, looks like fairly large size fasteners there. That's nice. We've got a full titanium backspacer. We've got a milled clip. We've got a little slot for the lanyard hole. That's nice. Very good. Steel lock bar insert. Okay. Nice big area there for the reverse flick. Oh, heavy detent. Yeah. Whoa. Hmm. Well, the blade is a lot shorter this way than I would have thought. Um, okay. I have the baby shark theme um, playing in my head right now. Well, who is the designer here? Mignanis, Mignanis, S90V. Okay. So, the blade height, sorry if this makes you cringe. Um, I don't know why we're doing so many close-ups today. The blade is cool, and I like this notched swedge right here. This is kind of neat. Uh, S90V in titanium is fantastic, and let me tell you, here lately, Kubi has been offering amazing price tags on this stuff. The choke-up is fantastic. Beautiful choke-up, right? In fact, ergonomically, this thing is very nice. Fantastic access to the lock bar, great flipping action. A little bit heavy detent, but you can still do the reverse flick. Getting as low as possible is critical to be able to break it. But it works, and the action is real nice too. Yeah, that blade height to handle blade height to handle height ratio is very odd. I I really expected the the blade to be like here. You know what I mean? That's very strange. It creates for a very weird aesthetic. You know, um, it also is a little. It's not thick. It's just thicker behind the edge than you might expect. I'm certain that it'll still slice though. I have no um, reports on Kubi's S90V. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's not like, it's not an open L, but it's fine. A little bit of lifting, a little bit of tearing. Um, I say tearing, it's a little bit of lifting on the edge there. When you're cutting something like paper, obviously your mileage will vary depending on what you're cutting. Let's measure it. Overall length of the, what is it? This is called the Vel Velocé? Velocé? I don't know. Everyday carry. Okay. Yeah, so there you go. Um, but uh, the overall length, it's definitely a full-size knife. I'm going to say eight and a quarter maybe. Ooh, no, longer. Wow, 8.6. Cutting it, uh, blade length is 3.75. Cutting edge is three inches. This absolutely should have had a deeper... This would have been a really good-looking knife had this belly been deeper. And I'm not sure why, what is the reason? You know, it's a long ways. I mean, I can see in there, the edge is quite a ways from the backspacer. Why did, why is the blade so, I mean, here's the thing. If you remove this part, right? If this was removed 
and this was knocked down a bit, then look, looky there. Then we've got, then we're doing okay. But these areas are beefy, which means this area needs to be, I mean, let me know if you're with me, right? This area, just to be aesthetically pleasing to the general eye, and I understand that this is very subjective, but I have a feeling people are going to agree with me. Because of these areas here and here, this part of the belly absolutely needs to be deeper. Functionally, though, yeah. Plenty of access to the lock bar right here, you can see, right? We got some milling in there. Yeah, we do. Okay, let's take a look at the weight. Weight of the vel velocity. I know I'm not pronouncing it correctly. I'm at least I'm certain. 4.37, I'm sorry, 4.34 ounces, right? So pretty good weight. Honestly, had they added some more material in the blade, oh, it definitely would have helped out because the balance is, oops, it's not bad. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's quite a ways behind the pivot, right? More material out here, which, you know, maybe not so much. The belly would have had to been aggressive here and then taper fairly quickly because out of the tip, this area is much closer to the backspacer. But through here, I mean, you, there's plenty of room in there. That is very, very strange to me. I'm not sure... <laughs> what the idea was here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very confused. All of a sudden, Kubi has made this massive change where a lot of their higher-end stuff was, uh, used to be kind of underwhelming because it was like titanium and kind of, okay, fit and finish, and then I do like S35VN, and their prices were, meh, okay, and every now and then they'd have an M391. Now they're throwing S90V around with some really cool designs, and some of these are coming in sub 100, I'm sorry, sub $200, which is amazing, even considering they're a Chinese manufacturer. On the other end of it, they've got budget knives where they used to be like an unsung hero of the knife world, and they still kind of are. They got other stuff in their line. They were pumping out excellence at 45 to 50 bucks, maybe a little bit more. All of a sudden, now we're seeing a price hike, and we're seeing things like OS 10, which is really underwhelming. Um, this is cool. I just, I, I, it, it's, it leaves me wanting. Like this, honestly, the handle here. I'm to be careful where I put my hand. This looks awesome. If I did this, right? And I was like, oh, you, you'd get, you'd be excited. Seeing this handle, you'd be like, oh, I bet the blade looks awesome, right? Ta-da! And it's, yeah, it's not what I was expecting. I can't imagine anybody was expecting that blade to come out of there. Odd. Yes, very odd indeed. Very, hmm, I haven't the foggiest. All right, this was the unboxing and first impressions. I will link this knife down below so you guys can check it out if you want to. You'll get the full comprehensive review here in uh, a couple of weeks, something like that. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.